Good evening um, and welcome to another Thursday We're turning live. Um, what are we doing this evening? Um, I've had a couple of ideas. I was going to do an egg timer. I was going to do a milk install. Then I was going to do something else. Ages ago, I bought a really cheap, tacky, nasty pocket watch off Wish. Um, and I thought, with the intention of making a pocket watch stand, didn't like it. Um, I was then having to sort out kits, and I found lots of clock kits. So tonight, we are going to make a, a wooden pocket watch. Um, obviously, it's not going to have the flip front, because I'm not that talented. Um, what we're going to make it out of, before I introduce the uh, earworms, let's get this done. You have a choice tonight. So we can either turn it out of a pink of peace, I, uh, peace, pink ivory or purple heart. Uh, these are blanks I totally forgot I had. I was going through a box earlier on looking for a small bit when I found these. So the choice is up to you. While you're letting people know in the description uh, in the chat what you want, um, let's bring in the earworms. So tonight, join us. <laughs> We have the party pooper, <laughs> the bearded one, Mr. J.P. Woodwork, Wayne and Kez from Spirit and Bear. They're going to be looking after you all. Um, let's pop them Amazing. back in the background. Up to now, we've had one purple heart and one pink ivory. Eighty thanks. Also, um, before we start turning, those That's that are two purple hearts. Cool. Those that saw the live last week where I did some pens, um, I've realised I have got hundreds of pens turned. So over on my Facebook page at the moment, the Blue Light Turner Facebook page, uh, there is a sale on pens. Um, if you're interested, pop over and have a look um, and just send us a message and we can sort say it out. So, right. Three purple heart. Three purple heart. Let's slave cam. If we get time, we might do both, but like we'll it. see. Where are we up to? Purple heart, purple heart. There's a pink ivory there. Yeah, it's three to one up to now. Oh no, that's two pink ivory, three pink ivory, so that's three each at the moment. Draw in even. Oh. Four pink ivory, pink ivory, pink four, ivory. Four, four purple heart. <laughs> Close call. Oh, next one gets it. If not, I'm just going to pick a blank up and have a look. Juggle them. <laughs> Okay, let's go with pink ivory. ivory. <laughs> Purple ivory. Let's go with pink ivory. I have not turned pink ivory for ages. It's normally really expensive. And I don't know how long I've had this bit. I don't even recognise the label of the company that supplied it. Um, so, what would do... We start off, and then the guys can let me know who's in the chat. Cool. Uh, let me see if I can get my mouse working first. Come on, mouse. There we go. Let's scroll up. Scroll up to the top of the stream yard, and I'll run through. Right, so in the chat, we've got Robert Dolman. We've got Mike Yu. We got Clint at Wood Dancers. Uh, it's got Kite East Shed. Uh, let's keep going. We've got James Crawford. We've got Tommy's Workshop. Andy H is returning. Wood Turning by Barry. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, Lawrence is out there. We have Spirit and Bear. Is that Kez or is that <laughs> yeah, Phil? <laughs> That's right. you. Uh, we've got David Oates out there. Tony Smith. Um, let's keep going. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. John Scarborough's out there. Wavy Woodshed is out there. Circular Woodbys Keith is out there. Uh, Gaz Glass, the Driftwood Turner, is out there. 
Um, uh, Peter Corrigan, you out there? Oh, yeah. Uh, Tommy's Workshop. I'm not sure if I've just said that or not, but he's out there anyway. <laughs> um, I think that's it. So I've only just done that on StreamYard. So if they're over on the YouTubes, then I, I might have missed out a few people. So all I'm doing at the moment is just turning a small tenon on the back so we can mount it in the chuck. Got a pink shoulder in now. Uh, Rob CP and Ben Jamming are in. I might want to make that a little bit smaller. Evening. Yeah, 41 watching. So the link at the top of the chat is to Scott's Buy Me A Coffee, which is actually buying Band-Aids for every time he falls over. <laughs> William Brown's just come in. Hello, William. Mention... And Terry Hooper has just come in Terry as well. Hooper. Hiya, Terry. Did you, mention... Did you mention Karen? I didn't mention Karen, no. Uh, I, Karen I did it on StreamYard, so I, must... I missed a few people. There we go. Hello, Karen. Right. Have you turned much uh, pink ivory, Wayne? Uh, over the years, yeah, fair bit. I once did some miniature chess pieces out of pink ivory. Somebody had a, a travel chess set, which was... Um, I don't know if it was actually dyed ivory, but the one set was ivory. Uh, the other set was, was pink, so I, I turned, them, turned a couple of few chess pieces out of pink ivory a lot of years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right let's get a uh, let's get a game for the chat right so the game for today's chat is going to be you have to take a movie title and you have to replace one with the movie title uh, the movie title one of the words from said movie title and replace it with the word scott <laughs> and see what you come up with <laughs> for, example, for example robo scott Instead of Robocop. That's an old film. And Jeff or, Christie's uh, just come in as well. Hello, Jeff. Or oh, the Hunter yeah? Red Scott instead of Hunter Red October. Mm, honey, I shrunk mm. Scott. Honey, I shrunk Scott. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know this blank is a lot bigger than what we need. Um, what like, we... Mike, you want. said the longest Scott. <laughs> and Jake's just come in. He hey. Clint, Jake. Said, Clint said Scott flew over the cuckoo's nest. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> oh, there, there's an original one. Scott of the Antarctic. Uh, right, let's go to the other camera so you can Didn't see. Didn't even change the name. <laughs> so what I've, what I've done here is I've just marked uh, roughly 60 mil. Um, that's all we want. Um, we are going to get a lot of waste. People are going, oh, it's pink ivory. It's an exotic wood. Scott with the wind. Really? <laughs> 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 the green Scott. Uh. <laughs> uh, Doug Miller's in. Hiya, Doug. Uh, how the Scott Doug. was one. Could have the green Scott. Yeah, that's already been taken, mate. That's already been taken. Uh, Scott the Magic Dragon. Magic Dragon. <laughs> Scott Shank Redemption. Scott's Scott gone. On. The Wizard, the of, Wizard Scott. of Scott. <laughs> Terry, he was a question, question, question. Scott of the Arctic. No, it's been done. Carry on, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wendy's, that Carry is. <laughs> oh, matron. <laughs> uh, 
Scott Gump. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Scotland the Brave. Bill and Scott's Excellence and Adventure. King of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So you could use a bowl gouge and take it down. I've just made a ring. Well, stuff can be used again. Saving Private Scott. Scott with the wind. Weird Scott. Weird Scott. <laughs> okay. True <laughs> this up, and then we can start. Free Scotty. <laughs> Brave Scott. Brave Scott. Scott spotting. <laughs> <laughs> Scott spotting. Scott Trek. One and two, Scott Trek. Now Beacon I've Scott. used. I've used a bowl blank. Um, you don't have to use a bowl blank. If you've got a big enough spindle blank, you could do it. Um, but you are going to end up with end grain depending on which way it's cut. Now, the kit I'm going to be using, um, I'm not taking the pocket watch apart. What I've got is I've got loads of these tiny little clock faces. Um, if I show you the one I did earlier. Di wanted me to uh, colour this, but it's a really nice piece of sycamore, so I decided not to. Um, so we're going to mount that in, and then we've got a little kit to go on top. So I've got a 35mm force in a bit. We've got Scott for Prime Minister, the good, the bad, and the Scott. Scott for Prime Scott, Minister. Scott score, uh, Story 2. Star Trek 3, The Search for Scott. Dances with Scott. <laughs> Not quite Scott, but those magnificent men with those turning machines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So we're going to have a... Scott Trek Scott Wars. Can you use a... Forcing a bit, put a 35 mil hole in. Now we only want to go in the end probably about five mil deep. I'm going to go slightly more this time because obviously we've got to put some shape on. Peter Scott, life of Scott. <laughs> Now, the actual kit is 36 mil. Um, so I'm just going to gently pass the parting tool down. Don't catch fire, Scott. Uh, door 60 says evening, Scott. Evening, door. Scott. Oh. The eyes are Scott. Planes, trains, and Scott. Right, there we go. So let's start making some sheep. Show Scott redemption. Bed knobs and Scots. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Scott, the lion, the witch, and the Scott. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the Scottly. <laughs> Not a form, but spot of the throne. Okay. 
love the colour of this. This is really cool. Let's just check that for fit. The sword in the Scott. <laughs> just wants to be a little bit deeper. Scott the red-nosed reindeer. <laughs> From here to Scott. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Scott. <laughs> and all I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the parting tool to do that. Now, extractor on, we can start sanding that up. Jake said Scott Gump. <laughs> Wendy said Fifty Shades of Scott. <laughs> Mike, you said the 39 Scots. Tommy said lost Scots. Scott Gump. Scott the Magic Dragon. Have you already said them? Yeah, I already said them, mate. Harry Scott and the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh. Right, spider spider. My dad just says Kingdom of the Lost Scots. Go um, on, in, my... my Jacob's Chuck has a moss taper into the tail stock. That's not a problem, but the Chuck also has a moss taper and that keeps letting go. My question is is it goose or is there, there a fix to try? Yep, two part epoxy glue. That's what I did. I had a similar problem. Mike Walt had a similar problem. And I use two part epoxy glue to fix mine. Okay, and then what we might do is we might do another clock as well, depending on time. Because this is going a lot quicker than uh, the practice piece earlier. Yeah, you're just coming up to around about 20 minutes. Yeah. Don't forget, Rich is on this evening at 9 o'clock. He's invading uh, Lindsay Creative. So we'll pop some chestnut cellulose sand and cedar on that front bit. I've got some of that I have. Is it the lot that I bought at the Chestnut Weekend, or have you used that already? I've, I've got, I've nearly used both of them tins, so I had to buy another two and some acrylic sanding sealer. Yeah, just that. to make sure. I'll wipe off the excess, and then Looks really good, Scott. some good old faithful Yorkshire grit. Are you going to sing this time, Kez? Uh, not on your Nelly. Oh. No, we're not singing that song anyway. And I'll not be singing either. <laughs> Nor will I. Looks like you don't you, Jimmy. Use the grit to sand a piece of wood. <laughs> Off it went up to a thousand grit. Grit, grit, grit. <laughs> okay. There you do. Okay. <sighs> So, lave on the slowest speed possible. Uh, this one is 500. Which mm -hmm. work here. See, so I did that. So now when uh, Scott gives chest compressions next time, he's going to be singing the Yorkshire Grit song. No, it's Baby <laughs> Shark, mate. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't get that thing stuck in everybody's head. That's one of the worst I have got a playlist on my phone, songs not to play at a cardiac arrest. Go on then. What's your top one? I just died in your arms tonight. Oh, God. 
Cloud. Hundred and one Scots. Keith's put in the link for Richard's uh, invade later on. John Scarborough says he's ha he ha I have so much to do in our garden. I haven't turned my lathe. I haven't turned my lathe for over two weeks now. <gasps> oh. Okay. So Phil might be sorting out his lave, by the way, Kez. Just huh? saying. Phil might be sorting out his lave, just saying. Yes, yeah, alright. I keep telling him to. Woodwind Paul's just come in. Oh, yeah, Paul. Hi, uh, Paul. So we've worked in the grip. We've now swapped to a clean bit of cloth. I'm going to look for the cloth coming off nice and clean to know the grip's done its job. And if he don't sort his lave, Jamie, I think I'll buy him one for Christmas. Ooh! Look at the colour on that. Gorgeous, isn't it? I don't want to waste this wood now. That purple ivory looks up uh, purple ivory. Purple ivory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to pop on some uh, microcrystalline wax. The purple ivory looks like pink art. I might actually give this to my brother. He's a funeral director and he loves his pocket watch. So I might give him this one. Uh, Brian over at Hartwood Turley's out in the chat. Oh, Hello, yeah, Brian. 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 How are you Hang feeling on. better, mate? Go away. You're not doing an update now. I'm live. Mike, you question, question, question. How does this clock mechanism work? Small battery? Yeah, it's got a tiny battery in the mechanism. Um, it's just like a little watch face. Um, this one, you pull the little plastic tag out and it will is it, start. Is it like a, wrist, like a wrist watch? Yeah, it's that sort of size. Um, these ones come from a company called Procraft. Um you will see the link or find the link for them down in the description. Uh, they do lots of different little wood turning kits. We're actually going to use a bit of one of their versions of key ring uh, hangers on the top. Did you say that you got yours out of a one from Wish? The original pocket watch was at Wish, yeah. I mean, it could potentially work out cheaper just to buy a load of pocket watches from Wish because they're cheap and nasty crappy things yeah um, I don't know what they're going to be or how easy they are to take apart it will be something I'll have a look at but I've got a couple upstairs because my auntie bought loads of them because you can get them in loads of designs but she bought yeah. loads of them for off the, the men of the family for her wedding and we all got one and there was a few left over so she said oh you can have them so, because I want to try and save as much of this as I can, I know I don't need a lot more. I'm just going to cut this bit off, and then I've got something I can either use as a box uh, lid inlay. Um, turn up the speed a little bit. Stuart's just come in. Evening, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. <coughs> Hello, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Uh, Brian says, back is progressing, JP. Thanks, buddy. Well, that's good for celebration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad backs are not fun. Yeah. Okay. And what we'll do, we'll cut the rest of that off by hand. A quick tip for uh, everybody as well. If you're going to go and get new glasses and you plan on wearing them in a workshop, 
Make sure you haven't got LED lights if you have reactors. Makes everything go dark. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Right. We'll swap the chuck. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, new glasses. I can carry on my scroll saw project and actually see something. Yeah, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> I've got reactions on mine, but um, I don't think they're... Uh, they don't I've, got su- I've got super bright LED lights. Yeah. So what we've got on here is just a small set of pin jaws. Um, they've got a gripper on the outside. So that will grip the inside of where the clock mechanism is going to be. Turn that off for a minute. Now, one thing I learned from earlier um, is try and leave a little bit of a flat here because obviously the mech or the bit we're going to hold it with. Um, it's probably three or four mil um, wide and quite flat. So, but the design on these is up to you. If you wanted to put beads, coves, whatever on them, uh, it's entirely up to you. Uh, Rob CP says, question please, are Scott's pin jaws from Axminster? Uh, no, these is a Charnwood chuck. Uh, it's the Viper 3, which I think has now been superseded by the Nexus 3. Um, but Axminster do jaws like this for their chucks. Start putting some shape on. Uh, Steve Vellis is in. He says, Hello, folks. I'm a bit late. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve. Still a bit too thick for my liking. Obviously, it's Ben Jamming be says, so. uh, must be nice having such a big aquarium in your workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. uh, I keep looking for Nemo, but I never see him. Let's get your paints out. Uh, Rob C. Pieces, I need some pin jaws, but I'm truly so lazy, never be bothered to change the jaws. Ah, you need an easy wood chuck, Rob. And it takes a few seconds. So, I will be totally honest. This is the first time I've had changed the jaws on this chuck for... I don't know how long. <laughs> You've been I've normally got... Yeah, I've normally got a set of gripper jaws or a set of seed jaws, dovetail jaws on. Um... And that's it. But tonight I needed something smaller. Um, Terry Hooper says, Record and Nova also do the type of jewels Scott is using. Cheers, Terry. There we go. So let's give that a sand again. We're flying, aren't we? This looks so tiny in comparison to what you normally turn.
Have we turned it a small bowl? No, but I've turned a real big bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Kite Shed says Rutland's online. Do them jaws. Yeah, they Charm would do a longer version as well. Uh, that I used to use for drilling all my pen blanks. Um, until I got a vice, and now I just drill them all on the uh, pillar drill. Okay, and all I'm just going to do is take a bit of 240 and just knock off this edge. Same on the other side. We can always go back over it with Yorkshire grit. How about Bonnie? John Scott, how about Bonnie and Scott? <laughs> Bonnie and Scott. Uh, right. Let's just get a bit of... So this is just a bit of methylated spirits or denatured alcohol. You've got to say it right, Scott. Denatured alcohol. Okay. Alright, a bit more of the old silly I can have that Scott and Clyde. <laughs> Broke back Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Reservoir <laughs> Scots. Reservoir Scots. That's a good film. I haven't seen that for ages. Lock stock and two smoking Scots. <laughs> 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 Okay, so let's pop in some Yorkshire grit. John Scarborough says, men in Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem, is it? Oh, this whole screen. I was waiting for a Brighton comment. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Ellis says, 20,000 leagues under the Scott. Scott Brothers. The Scott Hunter. Scottzilla. Scottzilla. <laughs> the Scott Father. Good Scott Hunting. The Green Scott. Close Encounters of the Scott Kind. King Scott. <laughs> I'd love to know where you get your questions from, Jamie. I'll just come up with them. <laughs> so, clean cloth again. Speed up on the lathe. Uh, Scott in the flying machine. Jurassic Scott. Scott uh, of the unexpected. <laughs> so, Mike Crystal might skin. I'm just going to go round on the front. We can get in there. <laughs> Slum <Without>. dog Scott. <laughs> <laughs> chitty chitty Scott Scott. <laughs> Back to the Scott. <laughs> Back to the Scott. Oh. Uh, Andy H says, "Is that pink ivory? As it uh, as it's uh, as easy as it looks." Oh, do you know what? It turned a dream. It's lovely to turn. Um, 
really nice shavings. Um, it's really pretty on the colour. Sands really well. Scott Poppins. <laughs> Chris, the spinning wood dodgers in. Hiya, Chris. Hello, mate. Hi, Chris. Lord of the Scots, uh, Scott Poppins has been put in there as well. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do... So, I'm just going to use a spindle lock. The grain's now running down. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to get a bradle. Just try and work roughly centre. Okay. I might have to just sand that bit. I've just nicked it with the bradle, but I can sand that off. And then this is just a 1.5 mil drill bit. Actually, I did have to drill in the lathe. Let's use. Let's see other bit. That's not enough. Seven brides of seven Scots. No, seven brides for seven Scots. Kindergarten Scott. Lot of the Antarctic. One bride's enough. I don't need seven. <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Scott. Scott of Dallas. Okay. Let's come back to the other camera. Lave down. We want that. That. We want that. That. Okay. So there's our clock mechanism. Put that on there before that goes down the extractor chute. So what I've done is I've just put a little one and a half mil hole in the top. Now I'm going to use, it's up to you what you use. These are little keyring kits that are available from Procraft. Um, they have a tiny little screw, um, which is why I've put a pilot hole in. Um, I think they're about £2.60 for four or five of them. There is a link down in the description. Um but the screw, fed, uh, the screw heads are really soft, which is why the need for the uh, sure, screw. <laughs> uh, yeah. Scott flew over the cuckoo's nest. Luckily, Scott Busters. Luckily, if I go over here, look, I've got another one. Because I'll never find that again. Not in a million years. Scott Wick, Revenge of the Dog. Go in the hole. Right. Now look. It's there. Put that one back. That was like a jinx. Yeah, you found it. Oh, that was gone forever. Bridge on the river, Scott. A few good Scots. Bridge on the river, Scott. That reminds me of my granddad, that film. Scott lost his screw. <laughs> Scott on the bandit. <laughs> I 
Right, the head's gone again. That's the only problem I find with these screws from Procroft is that the heads do go. So if you can get smaller ones or replacement ones, then that's what I would suggest. But we will get there. I have a selection of little screwdrivers. When he said you should be good at screwing in screws the amount you did at my house. Shh, don't tell everyone. There's loads of screwing going on at Wendy's house. Uh, Tommy said for a few Scots more. The first full of Scots. Right, we're going to leave that like that. Well then, get the clock mechanism. This has got a little rubber backing around it. Um, I'm not going to take the plastic wedge out because that will start the uh, battery. But that pops in there, trying to get it square. And then you'll have to excuse the chain. This is the uh, cheap, horrible chain off wish. Um, I am going to look for more. Um, but there we go. One pocket watch. How are we doing on time? Oh, Very nice. Right. Let's go for another quick clock. Um, we won't go for a pocket watch because I haven't got any more mechanisms. Um, but we used a bit of purple heart. Swap shocks again. Right, let's uh, let's change up the question then. What song would you say, the people out in the chat, would you say best describes Scott? And Valerie. Hiya, Valerie. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Valerie. I think it should be Tina Turner. Rolling. <laughs> 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 Crash their dummies. Mm. <laughs> right. Jake said it's raining, men. <laughs> <laughs> right. What clock mechanisms have we got? Some says sympathy. <laughs> That go quite nice in there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Nice, simple desk clock. That's what we'll go for. It's the same as before. I'm just going to mount it between centres. I'm going to go with, on go with uh, Johnny Cash Hurt. Wendy wants to know what wood is that. This is Purple, Purple Heart. Heart. Purple so Ivory. Ivory. So we'll now go to Purple Heart. Let's come back to the other view. David at Webfoot and Wood Creation says Dance Monkey. <laughs> uh, uh, right. So maybe down. Yeah. Uh, Robert Dobble says Highway Star. Barbie girl, that's uh, Emma the Tiny Turner's song. <laughs> you were singing it too. <laughs> Have we got proof? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a few lives ago. <laughs> Wendy says Super Trooper. Mike, you says you look wonderful tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Mike should have gone Terry, to Specsavers. Terry Hooper's off. Bye, See you later, Terry. Terry. Cheers for coming in.
William Brown says you are the one and only. <laughs> Bit of Chesney. Where's, uh, Wendy says she's not good with music. All right, leave his wine. Oh, <laughs> listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known. For the first time ever, this Sunday night's premiere by Jamie is going to have some decent music in there. <laughs> yeah, but... It's all mine. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> After uh, after one of Wayne's live, I straight up told him I was going to copy what he was doing and I was going to steal the exact same music as him as well. <laughs> so I did. So we just put a little tenon on there. Uh, David says, you light up my life. John Scarborough says, girls just want to have fun. <laughs> Stuart says, you spin me round. There you go. There you go. Okay. So Sunday night's premieres are titled Mine's titled Big Brother And Jamie's is titled Little Brother Cool <laughs> Should be Big Cook, Little Cook Oh my god My kid used to love that show <laughs> So did my boy Yeah Okay We're just going to go for a basic desk clock design. How are we doing on that one? A little bit more on there, but we can adjust that as we adjust the shape. True the face off. You can adjust that as you adjust the shape, Scott. Do you happen to have any light this end, Scott? How's that? There you go. There you go. I can see you doing it now. Right uh, might you say it's been a hard day's turn? Or what about that? Or is that even better? It seems to be a lot better. Okay. We like my fire. Just talking about different Scottish TV presenters. <laughs> right, let's find that mechanism. Where'd I put it? What, that you remembered? I've got one out, didn't I? So. Wynn and Valerie are in. Oh, yeah. And I Val. Not if I was husband. So we're looking at just over 50 mil for the insert on this one. John Scarborough says relax. So welcome to the pleasure dome as well, don't we? Stuart says uh, children of the revolution. Your so. pet shop boys have another cup of coffee, <laughs> <laughs> but not flavoured coffee. <laughs> Don't want to cause you trouble. Okay. Flavoured coffee's weird. Oh, Wayne likes it. Right there, kids. John Scarborough says weird. into the groove. That I can't dance by Genesis. And deals just coming. 
Evening, Hi, Dale. Dale. Dale, just in time for the question. So you've got to think of a song that best describes Scott. Oh, here we go. Well, I can't have Dale miss out on this game. Dale's got a link if he does want to come in and uh, be on the panel. You've got 54 lovely people watching you, Scott. Thank Tiny you. dancer. I've just messed that up there. That's all right. You can clean it off. Got enough wood yep. there. There's loads of wood there. Let's, uh, let's go for a carbide. Cuz is in. All right, Cuz. Between deliveries. Uh, uh, John Scarver says Prince Chumming. I had some, uh, I had some bloke at my front door sing that to me once. I think he wanted to come in. And I was like, he ain't coming in, but he was adamant. Mm. Oh, yeah, you had a weirdo turn up on your doorstep yesterday. Yeah. He actually phoned me up before he got to the doorstep and said, you got some weirdo standing outside. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not? Did you not get that? Did you not get that joke, Kez? Yeah, adamant. Yeah. Adamant, adamant. Uh, <laughs> Dale says he's backstage, mate. All right, let's add Dale in. Let's. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Evening, Dale. Ah, oh, mate. Well, there we go. So we've got to think of a song title that describes our Scott Arena. Is yes, that the, you do. Is that what we've got to do? Yeah. Oh, mm. oh you'd have fun with this one. Mm. <laughs> well, you know, my old man's a dustman, so the beginning said takes me in. You know, we can start there. <laughs> you know. Um, Alex. Um, <laughs> yeah, Alex. Living next door to yeah, Scott. Alice, yeah. <laughs> Alice, Alice. Alice. Um, Cuz has come up with a good one. Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. So I'm just taking my time. I don't want to go too big. What have this I done to deserve this? Well, you could go with, I mean, you could stroke his ego temporarily, but at the same time have a pop at him by saying smooth operator. Yeah. Meaning, meaning his head. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, I apologise now, sir. I'm going to go right off. <laughs> Griff, Griff would turn his face. I'll do whatever, uh... mate. I'm just lumbering up. <laughs> right. Uh, what is it? Uh, Driftwood Turner says, uh, what's love got to do with it? <laughs> Douglas Longland says, roll over, Beethoven. <laughs> Wayne Bigfoot says, uh, I'll tumble for you, Culture Club. Because this Dale was just warming up. I can see him rubbing his hands. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh... Uh, Pete Tristan Tree says, good evening. Is this a pocket watch or a pocket watch with a stand? He's just done the pocket watch, Pete. Uh, pocket this is watch, just a desktop. So this is just going to be a desktop clock. And this is just the uh, Simon Hope uh, beading tool. I'm just going to put a bead in. <laughs> oh dear Dire uh, Straits Douglas Dust in. Oh wait Wait Dire oh, yeah. Straits Industrial Disease <laughs> You know Dire Straits Money for nothing <laughs> You could just go with No no we're not going to get No 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 
no, no. Message me, message me, and I'll say no. It. no. <laughs> <laughs> you got a list going off there. No, I'm not. I'm just sitting here thinking. I'm running through. I keep knocking them off. The list is in my head. I keep going. No, 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 no. And no. these lives are all about having fun and a laugh. No. So. You know, I mean, it's like I keep I keep going back. I mean, there's some real, real absolute toppers when you get back. But like I say, my old man's a dustman. You can work with. You know, what I mean, when I'm, when I'm cleaning windows, when I'm turning bowls, you could work with. Um, 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 I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm not um, Jimi Hendrix. No, Mike Hughes. No, said no, 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 no. Oh, I know. Sanders, Green disease. Sanders Belgium. That needs to be deeper. Because I've taken well, just two Scots die. Who is it? So is it status quo that round and uh, no, is, is it no 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 it's alright, it doesn't matter. He's a tumbler. Yeah, mm. a tumbler. Now, I don't think I'm going to have time tonight. Well, we could go with Motorhead, isn't there? You know what I mean? There's a again, there's a double one in here. Turn you round again, which is a sort of tribute to the fact he's a wood turner. Really, I'm poking <laughs> fun at his waistline. <laughs> hey, fat, I'm big bold. <laughs> I'm festively planned. <laughs> so I said we're going to keep it a nice, simple shape. <clears throat> sure, it says the first Scott is the deepest. Van Halen's an ice cream man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's sand this up. Is Wayne still there, or is he? Uh... Yep, no, I'm still here. Yep, uh, easy. See, cartoon characters would be my favourite. You know, I mean, songs are songs are. You can get you can get particularly evil with songs but with cartoon characters and every time i look at scott all i can think of is benny the ball from top cat <laughs> <laughs> it's, all I, it's all i can ever get either that or minion but definitely benny the ball um, how many lovely people have we got him john scarborough's just leaving so uh, uh, john cheers for coming in yeah. <laughs> oh no 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 i'm just going to say buster blood vessel yeah, and then just leave it there just come in and then, and oh, then leave right. it there <laughs> i am michael <laughs> uh, you know he's not can I can I for a while he's had a hotel where i live yeah, who's that not buster buster blood vessel uh. Called yeah, Fatty that's... Towers. Mm. I'll leave that there as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That was one of those moments where you kind of go, oh, that's too obvious. <laughs> right. You could do weird you could do weird Al. Just eat it, eat it. Pretty cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like where you're going with that. So, cellular sand and sea long. You can do that song where he goes like the bass, 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 the buttery biscuit bass. But it's the ones that it's it's what he oh, it's what it's songs that remind you of Scott, right, or describe yeah. Scott, or make you think of. Scott. Yeah, re re remind you think makes you think about Scott. Let's take the exercise. Why, why does it always rain down on me? <laughs> Living in a box. There's one for Scott. You know. Yeah. I was in the workshop. Mm -hmm. I did mean the wagon, mate. Though. <laughs> oh, <what>? <laughs> 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 Just some Yorkshire grit. Mm. Um. Twenty minutes. Cuss says, minutes. "Of course, that begs the question: Who would be the rest of the gang, and who is Officer Dibble?" <laughs> Jamie, you can be Officer Dibble. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Wayne no. Bigfoot Woodcraft says, "Blue light spelt danger. Red light spells danger." Billy Ocean. I can't remember half the other cat's names other than Top Cat itself. No, nor can I. Cheech. I want to say there's a Cheech, but probably not. I, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be honest, uh, Wayne, I thought smoke alarm going off smelled danger. You're better the uh, Fancy, fancy. Brian, choo choo. <laughs> Stuart says, poor Scott, everyone is looking at the song titles instead of watching him turn. Never mind. Jury's with Hello there, all. Uh, how are we? I, uh, these Thursday nights are all about having a fun, having a bit of a laugh, having a chuckle. All right. That's got six pence. That was another good one. Chuckle version. Chuckle, chuckle version. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> to me, to you. <laughs> you know, I'm going to need a coffee rabbit, after rabbit, this. Rabbit, rabbit, <laughs> rabbit, 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 rabbit. Well, he does hang around. He does hang around down Summers quite a bit, so it could be rabbit, 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 rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, do you reckon you can do rabbit ears? I could do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear yeah, I could do that. I'll add that to the list. <laughs> rabbit ears. Right. The two R's, ribs and rabbit ears. Yep. So, chest. I want, I want ribbon. Christine. The three ears. Yeah. <laughs> and then what we'll do is similar to what we did on the other chuck, we'll reverse it and we'll turn the back off. I want a clean bit of cloth. And normally with Mike Crystalline, they it's best to leave it 10, 15 minutes just to let all the uh, solvents dry out. But I can always uh, give this another coat afterwards. Halfway there. Oh, I can't stand it square. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. So there we go. There's the front. We'll flip it round. And again, these are gripper jaws. So they've got little teeth on the inside. How are we doing on time, guys? Uh, 25-2, mate. Cool. Okay. <laughs> 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 
the Linnikins is in and they're asking what you're making, Scott. So, Linnikins, this is a desk clock out of a piece of Purple Heart. We've done a pocket watch, I'll show that again at the end. Okay. It's got to have some support because obviously it's got to support itself on the desk. So we're just going to put a gentle curve on the back. Ease off there because we're putting a big old cut. I don't know about others, but when I do desk clocks, I tend to, um, I won't do it tonight because we won't have time. I tend to leave a little six mil hole um, and turn a little button that goes in there so you can push the mechanism out to change the batteries. Um, but we haven't got time for that tonight. So let's turn this up. Speed down. John Nave is in, says, how is everyone doing today? Hiya, John. Hi, John. Oh, the Linikins, I came in as rabbit ears were mentioned. I assume sex toys from Andrew's book club on Tuesday night. Start finishing it. my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing so again I need to buy some more uh, methylated spirits just clean the grain up I've got five litres of it here <laughs> I really should start buying it buy the bigger thing rather than Works out a lot cheaper. Hell of a lot cheaper. I just keep buying little bottles every now and then, and it's like, there. Yeah. Okay. So, cellulose sanding sealer. I think last time I saw it, it was like eight quid a litre, and I think it's like 20 quid for five litres. Cool. Crazy, isn't it? Are they charged? So much for such a small amount. 
Yeah. I got a um jury says, do you have an extractor on or wooden lung? Uh, I have got extractor on. Uh, I've um I've got the HMRC uh, permit to go and buy denatured alcohol, but I've not found anywhere that sold it or really looked into it. Because to get it over here, you have to have a, a permit and a registration number from HMRC. And they limit as to what you're allowed. So I'm allowed 10 litres a year. So why is that then, if you can get methylated spirits, which is exactly the same stuff but purple? Because it hasn't got the denatured alcohol, hasn't got the uh, dye in it. So sometimes the purple. <coughs> dye what, dye, in the bit. what would dye probe be doing anywhere near it? You know, oh, what was he doing? What was he doing? Oh, what was he doing in it? And what was he doing swimming, in it? Oh, swimming, mm. knowing dye. You never know. Mm. Dye. John Nay says, "Love the colour of that wood." Yeah. So tomorrow I'll leave this in the sun, and the uh, the purple will come back. Tommy it says uh, he gets his clear meths on eBay. Okay. Okay, I've got one for Scott. Song title, Locomotive Breath. Yeah, I've got a better one by the same artist, Thick as a Brick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My word. That's aggressive. <laughs> dear, oh dear. How are we doing? All right. Nearly there, people. It's nearly there. I'm conscious that Rich is on at nine, and I want everyone to have a chance to go and You're use facilities. You're at forty-two. Who else is in this with me? I've, I've, I don't know. Who else is here? Uh, Kez, Kez and Wayne. Kez and Kez Wayne. And, and you, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drunk is another one for him. Good lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cigarettes and alcohol. There you go. There's another good song. You guys have never seen me drunk. No, we heard I've you. I've seen you drinking. <laughs> you heard me drunk. Yeah. 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 I think it was the moment you said, you know, I mean, I love you. Who's, yeah, <laughs> that's what tipped us off. Who's Alice? Yeah. John N's asking me, how's the house coming along? The house is fine, sir. We haven't done anything to the house yet. Um, but we are doing lots of stuff to the grounds. We're building a new car park um, for the house. Sorry, driveway car park. Um, and demolishing lots of dodgy old outbuildings. Um, creating a proper hoard, wood store, you know, wood pile kind of thing with the workshops that come down. Um, we've completed the design work on the new workshop, the new Maple Tree Studios, and the foundations of which go in, um, and there'll be a video for this, um, at the start of December. So watch this space. Okay. Mikey says, money for nothing and the logs are free. <laughs> oh, we're going to be taking down some sycamore... And some beach, I think it is. Oh, big ones. Well, relatively big ones. I think they're what. I think I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be wrong in saying that most of them, Wayne, are about twenty-four inch diameter. Oh, minimum. easily. Then the oh, big out the back, definitely, aren't they, Dale? Definitely minimum. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Are they the big ones uh, <coughs> behind the workshop that is uh, at the moment? Well, there's the two that endanger the house, and then there's a few others that sort of sit around, but they're all of the same age. They're all okay. of the same age sort of thing, so they're planted at the same time. But they're just the big, they're old, and they lean the wrong way. Um, um, so, yes. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go over to the Zibet Sander. <coughs> of course, that'll be used for a 
scroll saw, for flat work, and for wood turning. So watch this space. These trees will not be will not be burned. You know, I mean, unless there's if there's any way we can use them for something more creative. So they'll live again. They'll live again. Very nice. I bet you can't so, wait for it to be up and running. Um, for the new workshop, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm missing my, my, my scroll saw something criminal. I have okay. loads of new designs that I've done and some really off the wall stuff I want to try. Um, yeah. um, and I just, you know, we're just ready to go. But you know, so, after Christmas, I think. Ooh, so close. Nice, uh, mate. Yeah. One desk clock, and all I've done is I've just put a slope on the back there, so it will rest on a desk at an angle. Um, and one pink ivory a pocket watch. Some size of pocket, that. buddy. I mean, I'll just say it: some size of pocket. It's only a little bit bigger than the wish one. You know, I mean, there's none. There's no. There's no rabbit pulling that out going. I'm fucking late. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's bring you guys back on. <laughs> So there we go. Some simple projects, guys. Um, I'm not around next week. Uh, I believe. Is he Keith talking is about us? Probably... Is he talking about us when he said simple projects? I think he's talking about <laughs> Possibly. us. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> so. I think so. Um, thank you to uh, Jamie, Kez, Dale, and Wayne for looking after everyone. Um, don't forget, if you are interested in a pen, head over to uh, the Blue Light page. There's some pens there. Um, I know a couple of people have bought me a coffee. This evening, thank you very much to those that have. Um, for now, I'm gonna hit the button. Uh, head over and see Rich, uh, Beard Go see Rich. at nine o'clock. Go see, see Rich. you later. Good now.